Hey, it's uh, Todd Altier. I'm with Crypto Joe. Joe, say hello. I got you on a limited basis. You do. Very limited basis, but I like your glasses. Yeah. Uh, Jason's, in Jason's in the house. Jason's in the house. Dude, I'm severely redlined right now. Jason's in the house. Today we're covering the flash crash of Bitcoin. Joe, what happened today? Do you have any idea what happened this morning that led to the flash crash? So, I mean, there's lots of speculation, right? The El Salvador coming, El Salvador coming online with its uh, legal tender of Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. I mean, is one of the big ones, and there are you know talks that people don't like it. I mean, but a lot of it didn't come from the American exchanges. Like the biggest ones came from Bybit and Hubble. Mm -hmm. Right where there was almost two billion dollars in sell-offs, these are all whales. I mean, one 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 account sold off forty-three million dollars in, in a single shake. Uh huh. So I mean, when you get that much liquidity back in the market, just dropping coin at market value, there's going to be a runoff, right? Right. And some people think it was to hurt the whole El Salvador thing, showing the volatility. Some don't. I mean. Maybe people are taking money out because, remember, El Salvador had to shut down their system because the demand for Bitcoin was so high. Let me get this straight. So El Salvador, it's legal tender there now. Yep. And and El Salvadorians can just buy Bitcoin at an exchange there and use it as tender to buy and sell goods and services? Yep, groceries, stuff like that, you know, I mean. Is that the true understanding there, Jason, that it's really, they have the El Salvadorian dollar, but they're still, or whatever they call it, their peso. Yeah, it's right. legal tender there. The president... So they have two legal tenders then, right? Mm -hmm. Their peso and their and Bitcoin? Correct, and you can swap you can swap one for the other both ways. I wonder if anyone's Bitcoin mining in El Salvador. Dude, the president just bought the dip, and I think he tweeted it. He's like, thank you for the cheapies. Oh, he didn't say it like that, but you get my point. Right. That is a flash crash. That, that is happened. 15%. So we were at 52,909. We, we pulled back to 50, Four. about 50, 50,841. And then boom, flash crash to what well, I see is 45,000. 43. But it was 43. That's never a, a, a good quote here. What are your thoughts, Jason? What happened? Well, uh, the shorts smelled the blood in the streets. Here's what happened today. If you looked at all the commodities, they took a bath, gold, silver, copper, oil, and then Bitcoin took a bath also. They've all dumped, and uh, it made me look like a zero instead of a hero when I put my trade on for any this morning, but that we'll get into that later. But here's the thing. The U.S. dollar was prospering today. The U.S. dollar was rocking. And uh, I don't know, there's direct correlation between the U.S. dollar flying like that and all the commodities and crypto uh, crashing. I've seen this show many times. I don't want to talk about the M word, but... So just for full disclosure, we do mine Bitcoin here at All Global through a subsidiary. Uh, we're, we're getting more active actually every day. Um, Joe, so what do you make of it from here? Do you think we go lower, higher? I mean, it's just a guess. You're throwing a dart at the dartboard. What's kind of next? Because I was reading, I want to, it's a two-part question. I was reading that the Chinese are are literally making the miners just get just leave, like they can't even get their miners out. It's just terrible. So there's there's two parts to that. So the first is what do I make of it? I think that uh, I think that Bitcoin's just going to go back up. I mean these flash crashes. The weird part is is some people are saying that it was an over leveraging that that caused a problem. What is that? So people getting out of Bitcoin to get into other things is is what was happening. But it, your other question is kind of interesting because there are rumors out of China that they're allowing specific miners to spin back up and kicking everybody else out of the country. So we had a 13 point jump. We had a 13 percentage jump in difficulty on Bitcoin almost two weeks ago. We're about to get another 5 percent increase in difficulty again. So who knows where this leads? Because I don't know that they're selling off all these miners. Some of them are being sold off, but not all of them. Oh, uh, th uh, Travis, thank you so much. I didn't know uh, El Salvador uses the U.S. dollar. Did you know that? They yeah. don't have their own peso? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh. Our audience is so smart. So what are they saying? I heard saying? El Salvador was... plans to mine using heat from volcanoes, according yes. to Max yeah, Kaiser. Yeah, absolutely. Geothermal? Yeah, really? that's a big thing. That makes sense. That makes sense. Super cheap electricity. What you, am I buying this? Hell no. So, Jason, now that you know it's the American dollar, Mm-hmm. You think that... Do uh, you follow me? Oh, I heard that. Okay, yeah, okay. I heard you, that. You think the U.S. government had uh, ha had some people dump in order to crash that? Of course they did. I, the M word. We, we've, been, we've been pretty diehard bulls of Bitcoin for a long time. I mean, I remember the days when, when, when uh, Joe and I had a friend, he worked with us, who sold 5000 at five bucks because he <laughs> needed the money, 25 grand. Yep. How's he feeling about that $180 million? Horrible.
Bybit was $1.2 billion of that sell-off. Yep. Pooh Boy was $859 million. Binance, $715 million. OKEX, $359. FTX, $123. And BitMEX, $93. So Coinbase, or none of the American exchanges were part of that sell-off. Let me, let me make yeah, sure. Yeah, but I wonder who has large oh, accounts Oh, yeah, well, there. in Binance, I guarantee the big boys have accounts at Binance. For sure they do. Yeah, Binance got banned in Singapore today. Is that true? And Thailand. Binance is having troubles. Really? Yeah, it's internal. They're, yeah, there's... Yeah, they're having troubles internally. No American exchanges offer leverage like the others. Yeah, is you know... Is a leverage issue? Uh, yeah, Bitrix, Bitfinex. You're right. A lot of these uh, American exchanges do not offer this kind of leverage. It um, reminds me kind of like the uh, currency exchanges where you get all this leverage, yep. but you could be wiped out before you went to the bathroom. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Yeah, I, they, I don't like leverage, so no. I, don't, I don't like that kind of leverage for sure. Now, would you consider buying a... This is a good question for you. Let's see. You Daniel got, Paul might be right. What's he saying? This is new information. This is why I say we have smart, smart followers. This Daniel Paul guy, I don't know him. He's saying Binance got barred in two places, and that may have been left what led to the sell-off. I don't think so. Why? It's not really. That wasn't really pertinent. Binance is beginning banned everywhere. Hmm. But you can't just completely discount it. I mean, it could have a factor. You saw, you saw that when you showed me the 10-minute chart there, and we did see a little bit of a downtrend. Sure. And then it looked like the shorts, it looked like they just pot, like there's this so, huge panic so cells. Our thesis, yours and mine here, just to be clear, is we we are playing, we, we, we of course mine at Alt Global through a subsidiary, and we're adding miners all the time. We'll be updating that soon. Did that we, just come across? What? Wait a minute. Let me make sure, hold on. Let me make sure what? this isn't fake news. I don't want to tell you wrong. Hold on. That, I can't confirm this. They're saying McDonald's is now accepting Bitcoin. Oh, come on now. Okay, this is a little misleading. The McDonald's in El Salvador must accept Bitcoin. See how they do this? Okay, don't don't get all excited about it. It's just the McDonald's in El Salvador, and from what I've seen. <laughs> they really These guys, that. man. All right, that's fine. Fake, half fake news. Trust hey, but is verify. It, is it, is it... Is it leading edge that El Salvador is the is like the, they're they're the crypto people? Well, let me tell you what they're hosting. What Bitcoin and the Lightning Network conference to be hosted in El Salvador? Really, that's pretty cool. Any idea on how to play the flash crash here? What should we be saying to people before we sign off? I want to see what happens with Asia tonight. To be honest, like between one and three a.m., one and four a.m., I want to see what happens when they wake up. Usually in Hong Kong, Beijing, six a.m. their time. See what happens if they buy. Um, uh, it would be super bullish if you and I come back to the desk tomorrow just for another update and we're looking at 50K Bitcoin. That mm -hmm. would be super strong. So let's see what happens. Somebody asked, I've never invested in Bitcoin. Is now a good time to get in? Well, I can't really answer that. You would have to make that decision for yourself and what your risk tolerance is and how much you'd be willing to invest. Yeah. However, if you take a look at what's going on in the world and you see that a lot of people are adopting bitcoin and that it's bullish in that aspect because there's more people that are adopting it than are turning it away well except for china but they have their own reasons um yeah you could you could take a look at it maybe you can just do some research decide for yourself how you want to allocate your funds what your risk tolerance is um you know i'm bullish on bitcoin but that's just me yeah what do you think of crypto here Consolidates it goes to 50, goes back to 40. Well, highly Does vol it touch 40 before it touches 50? I think it touches Jason, 50. You think it touches 50 before it touches 40? Yep. I think we go to 42 and we're on our way to 50. I think the next couple of days people get a little nervous, but it's not going to matter. I don't get the El Salvador thing. I thought that would be a positive. I see that kind of happening all the time. Once you get adoption from someone, you see a little bit of a self makes no sense to me. Well, hey, maybe those big sellers that Joe talked about, crypto Joe talked about earlier, those big sellers were selling off because they had a huge run. The guy had four, sold 43 million worth today. Yep. Let me, uh, let me bring a point up. This is kind of important. Let's think about this. So El Salvador takes a, uh, they, they say, okay, Bitcoin's in, uh, now a currency in this country. 
We're going to buy crypto. We're going to buy Bitcoin directly. Um, we're also going to mine it through our volcano, which is crazy geothermal. But listen, what if more countries decide to adopt Bitcoin as a currency? And these countries are all these trade partners of the United States. They all trade with the United States. And what if they are starting to adopt Bitcoin more and more? And they're using the U.S. dollar less and less because, as I think Travis mentioned or someone mentioned, El Salvador does use the U.S. dollar. But if you have more trade partners with the United States and they're adopting crypto, they're adopting Bitcoin and they're not using the U.S. dollar as much. It's kind of interesting to see how this plays out. Mm -hmm. A lot going on. A ton going on. Let's just say that. I got it. Yeah. Hey, yep. guys, everybody. Thank you for joining us. It was a flash crash today for Bitcoin. We covered Bitcoin today. We kind of stayed on topic a little bit. Jason, yep. give me some. Yeah, it was fun. All right. Let's go do the day job. I don't know if we'll see you tomorrow. It depends on if there's a topic, but we'll see you Friday for sure. We might see you tomorrow. It's probably new news tomorrow. We're going to try to spe be specific on topics each day. And on Friday, we'll do the general show. We'll see you guys later. Take care, everyone.